The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Coming to the circle in January is our baby. Our son. Our son. We are having a child. Chili's little brother. Chili's little brother. What a better time than to talk to my circlers and tell them what's up and have Cody on and we can kind of talk to you guys about everything that we've been doing and just so we're all on the same page about little baby little baby (laughs) (laughs) that's what we're naming him little b little baby that's gonna be its official name and we're gonna call it lb for short Mm -hmm. but when he's in trouble hey little baby (laughs) it doesn't even feel real that we're talking about it yeah i mean it didn't feel real at first for sure it was in general i feel like we've had a little bit of time for it to digest yeah yeah and uh you know it is like you're definitely showing a little bit i'm showing a little bit i am 18 weeks pregnant so i'm due at the beginning of january and almost halfway through the pregnancy yeah why don't we tell the story of when you found out i found out that i was pregnant on may 1st the day before we left for australia for iron man for iron man and we had just we had just moved like a couple weeks before no someone someone i saw a comment that was like i knew when they moved that they were pregnant no that's not and i was like we moved close but no cigar we moved kind of in anticipation of it happening maybe like a year down the line yeah we were moving with the thought that like this would be the house where we had kids yeah exactly and like then, when we saw it we were like wow this would be such a great place to have a family and have kids yeah there's a lot going on yeah like we were getting ready to leave for australia go t- across the world across yeah. the world i was like worried about whether or not i was going to finish this race mm-hmm. and then we had just moved so like shit is still everywhere yeah and the first and like when we were moving, I remember being like, I am so tired. Like I never felt so tired in my life. And I was like, but it's like it's a move, you know, I'm moving, I'm doing a lot. I just felt like I was just like, I'm just, you know, tired. Before we left for Australia, it was like the day before I was sitting on the couch watching the Met Gala. Actually, Cody wasn't home and I was like, we're leaving like to go across the world tomorrow. Like maybe I'll just take a pregnancy test to make sure, like just to see, like, I, I don't why? know. I, I honestly don't even know why. Like it's not, I wasn't like late or anything. I was just like something about have a little feeling maybe. And then, okay. and something about also like traveling so far. I was like, what if I just am and I didn't know. Like, I, I feel like I just would want to know. Yeah. I don't know. So I was like, oh, I'll go check. So I said to Chili, I was like, Chili, should we go take a pregnancy test? And then we like walked together into the bathroom. So then I was like, okay, cool. That that was fun. And then I went back into the living room, sat and watched TV some more. And I was like, okay, it's probably been five minutes or so. I'm going to go check. Really didn't think I was, it was going to say positive. And, and then it did. And I just was like, Oh my God. I just feel so lucky that it hap- like it happened. And I was just like, oh my, I was like in shock. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, when's Cody coming home? Cause I was like, I don't want to tell my parents over the phone. Like I want to just, I just have to like sit with this myself. Mm-hmm. And then, so I just like was sitting on the couch, like, like. <laughs> couldn't think about anything else and was just like, trying to be normal because cody i texted him and i was like when are you gonna be home he's like probably around like six four times it was like so what's your eta i'm like i'm i'm coming home like no i didn't (laughs) i mean i remember it being like one more like a couple times more than you usually do you were very curious about when i was getting home he said like six fucking hell yeah yeah indeed and it was like two something and i was like oh my god i have to stay here for four fucking hours yeah it was a long long recording day yeah and so i was like i cannot believe this and so I try to distract myself and then he's like, I'm really hungry. I'm going to pick up some food on the way home. Like, can you put the, can you put an order in? (laughs) I was like, I wanted to be like, it's closed. You can't just come straight home. Sorry. But then like, so I was like, sure. And I remember putting an order in and I just remember being like, I'm not even hungry because I'm so like 
flustered. Yeah. But then also like, what can I eat? Like, I just remember being like, wait, I need to actually think about like what I'm right. eating and stuff now. Put the order in. He finally got home. And he was like, oh my God, I'm starving. And he like went and like sat down at the kitchen table and started eating. And I was literally just standing there like staring at him. Just standing there. And I was like, so I've been trying to figure out what to bring to Australia. And he's like, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. (laughs) And then I was like, do you think I should pack this? Like, and then I went and sat next to him and I was like, do you think I should pack this? And I handed him the pregnancy test. And I was like, no yeah. way. <laughs> and I do want to make it clear. We were, we were trying. Yeah. It wasn't completely unexpected. It just happened like way sooner than we thought. Yes. Which we are very blessed yeah, that that happened. Very, yes, of course. Very lucky. And we're, we're happy that it did happen. We weren't, like we, weren't like, like, I, we weren't like, we weren't not trying. We weren't, we weren't avoiding it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, that's why we thought that we that's why I took the pregnancy test because I'm like it's possible you know yeah so and but like because it happened so soon I definitely wasn't like I was completely taken by surprise yeah we were we I, were, we were surprised at we that surprised. moment you could have been like what's she gonna what's she gonna hold out here right when you said should I pack this and I would have said a million other things I yeah. been like uh, I don't know like I would have guessed anything up to like a volleyball <laughs> you know and i mean we really are like we know how lucky we are in this situation and we feel so lucky because everybody is everybody's journey like I, f- everyone i've talked to has different experiences with this and so we know how lucky we are it's like doesn't feel real at the beginning it's like what does this even when mean? we went i didn't even more believe tests. it i was like there's no there's no way we have to do more tests we did more and then well, and we, we did, did more so we that got, night she here was, Oh, yeah, we did. We went and got more. more. We were both like, you know, like kind of like giggling on the way over to CVS. Like, please be real. Please be real. Yeah. Like, but I was like, we need to confirm this. And then we took more. Those ones are positive. And then we the next day we flew, flew to Australia and I was like, we should tell my parents. And that's a little bit weird, too, because you're not like they tell you, to, you know, don't tell anyone until the f- at least the first trimester is over but then we're like but we want to tell our parents because if anything happens we tell them anyways yeah so i was like we should tell my parents in person or you said that we were gonna tell them at the end of the trip yeah i know and but then like and then she's getting offered booze and she's like no we're staying at like for and the place we were staying at in australia was like this very quaint airbnb where like the two B- people. No, not an Airbnb. It's just a sorry, B&B. a B and B, a bed and breakfast. A classic. Yes. B&B. Where like the two people, the two people who worked there were just a husband and wife. They got to know you very well. Like it felt like you were like living in someone's home. Truly, like there was no hiding anything. Really. No. And the guys like because the dude that runs it is the chef. He's like, how about like seafood? He's and like, my what parents are like, oh yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I don't think Kelsey feels like seafood. I don't. I'm like, look at Cody, and I'm like. I can't have that. But then it's like, I, I, I was being a very high maintenance person when, and we couldn't like really tell them why. And so it was all of a sudden just like, I had issues with like everything. And it was like, just awkward, like not awkward, but it was just like, I felt so weird. Cause I was like, I don't really feel like that. Or like, Oh, I'm not very hungry or certain things like i can i just have some tea like i wasn't drinking coffee in the mornings and stuff like early on and so i was just like being weird i I feel like i feel like as hell i feel like the dude was like insistent too on he was like alcohol what what did he say that one night he's like you got you gotta have some there was one night this is so let's there, there was one night this is after cody's parents knew but i he asked for like and i had started to feel like not great like right when we landed in australia and I was like, can I just have, he offered something for dessert. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, that's great. Like I'll just do like ice cream and cake. I don't remember what it was. And he was like, okay, but you need to have some sort of liqueur yeah, yeah. on the side. <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh yeah, to pour over the ice cream. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think so. Like, and no, he was no, like, you, you have to. He was like, no, 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 you have, you have to. to. And, and I was like, you have no choice. No, I, I, I no. actually don't. 
I was like, I just don't really want it. And he's like, come on. He's like, come on. Like, made you me feel. You gotta have yeah. it. Come on. Yeah. And, and I'm finally like, we're like, we're fucking pregnant. Well, we didn't say we that didn't to say him. That. But they probably were like, this bitch is so high maintenance. This is Kelsey. Like, I just know they like were like, what's Kelsey's deal? Yeah. And then They're Cody's annoying. dad was like, I'll take, I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it on the side. And I was like, thanks. We were going to wait till the end of the trip. And then we decided like a day and a half in, two days in. Yeah. We went to go like pick up the stuff for the Iron Man race. And Cody and I were like taking pictures and stuff. And he was like vlogging. And I'm like, we kind of like just walked away from your parents for a second. And I was like, should we just do it now? Because it was like at the where the finish line was. Yeah. And she was like, we were walking, we were all walking away from it. We had just taken pictures there. Right. And then we were all walking away. And she was like, should we have told them there? That would have been a great place. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right. I'll make up some excuse. And I was like, can we go back there? I didn't like get any footage. I yeah, just got was pictures. Like, I want to vlog. So vlog it. And they were like, oh, okay, sure. And so we go back and then I, you probably saw it in the video if you're at the video that we posted on Instagram. On Instagram. I'm like, all right, one, two, three, say Kelsey's pregnant. One, two, three. And they were like, Kelsey's pregnant? What? Because they were like. They were like, that's a weird thing to say. They were, his dad was like, I don't want to say that. Yeah, like, they were like, it's, it's a horrible true. joke. Yeah. <laughs> like, they thought it was a joke. Yeah. 